Wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. Welcome back to One Too Many, the podcast where we have one too many. This is the last episode we're going to have in this room. We're doing that? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this isn't the last time we'll be in the room, but this is the last time that you guys will see the room because we're releasing this last, correct, Harry? Yes. Yes, sir. So this is the last episode in this room. Say so goodbye, bonbons. Hey, Sab. Can we can we go around can we go around right now and say one thing that we really like about this room and then one thing that we hate about this room? All right. Okay. I love the soundproofing. I hate that we have to paint the wall after we take it down. <laughs> 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 I know when we did it, we we're like, dude, fuck it, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. And then as soon as we like, thinking about it, I'm like, yeah. man, regret. It's not fine. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work, actually. My, uh, it is a lot of work. I'm gonna, uh, my favorite thing about this is how comfy these couches are, but I hate that they're actually green. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 My favorite thing is, um, it's, I love this room. Good memories. Yeah. What do you hate about it? You. The fact that you're in it. It's, kind of it's, not gonna it's, kind of it's not gonna change. It's not gonna change. It's gonna really. be with you forever, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, good year. No, it's been good. We've it's treated us well. Aaron, thank you for giving us the room. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Have we um how long have we been in this room for? How how when did we start? March, April. When was can we see what our first release date Which was? Which is um yes we can. Yeah, so it's been about a year. About a year? Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. No. Really? Yeah. Yes. Sheesh. But by the time this release it would be pretty much on it, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's around at that time. Fuck, that's, that's, I actually didn't know that. That's pretty good timing. That's actually kind of dope. That's mint. So yes, we are moving. It's going to be a slightly bigger room, and hopefully, just look a lot more aesthetically nice. Like mm. we're we'll able to do a lot more to it. Yeah, well, it's not a rental. We're moving into. Yeah, so, so that's always good. It should be good, but um, I'm excited, and yeah, so it should be good. Are we on? What are we drinking today, boys? Uh, the one nine six is double grape. CCs. Aaron, cheers. Mm. I'm back on drinking because. It's fucking hot. <laughs> and you got bored and you yep. like alcohol? Yep, 100%. Yeah. Also, like, after, like, this fucked week and this fucked weather, like, I just kind of need it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've had sunstroke twice this week. Like, proper sunstroke. Heat stroke, whatever it's called. Yeah, heat stroke. Yeah. You've had it twice. Twice this That's week. That's actually very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking... <laughs> like, you're very close to death, actually. Yeah. It, it happens a lot. Yeah. At what, at what oh. temperature do they stop work? We don't. Was, no, there's a rule. There's a rule where you... It's 40. It's yeah. 40. Wait, it's, um... It's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's forty. It's it's that's for like construction sites, not for like us. It's the, us is just like work. Yeah, surely not. Yeah, yeah. I think that's illegal. It reached thirty six today. I think. Yeah, but yeah. it felt like forty one. Yeah, yeah. It was, and I was in the sun, like in the sun. But they don't count that, which is a bit fucked. Yeah, it's fucked. It's kind of yeah, weird. All week it's been like thirty five plus, but it's like oh, feels like thirty eight. Feels like forty. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Fuck, wait, I feel so, it, so it needs to be forty and feel like forty six. Yeah, What's, it has to be. 40. Can someone explain to me why that's a thing? Like, it's forty degrees, but it feels hotter. Like, how does that make sense? Humidity. Uh, so like the actual temperature is whatever, but because of humidity, it heats up the. I'm glad blah, you blah, had blah. an answer for that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Know. that was a good it question. Ma- it makes sense. It was right. a good question. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But so, it, because I, it's like almost raining, yeah. it's quite humid. Yeah. And that's why warming. it's like muggy. It's humid, and it feels yeah, like okay. fucking shit. Because so the day that I had, I really, I had two. Hit, I heat struck twice this week, and I had it again. I had it three weeks ago as well. Yeah. Um, but when I ha- when I had it the really bad, like I was a half an hour drive from home, I was almost like passing out behind the wheel. And I got home at like six o'clock and just slept until six a.m. Did not wake up once. Didn't eat nothing. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Fucked, bro. It was, and I, and do you drink water during the day? That's actually really yeah. worrying. Power it was really bad. Shit. Well, yeah, I do. I do did today more, but on the day it was a bit fucked. And the day that that happened, I woke up in the morning and checked the news. Well, not the news, but I was just on like, Facebook, and a fucking apprentice died that day in Brisbane. Yeah. Bro, people die all the time from heat stroke. I, was, I know, but an apprentice, like a, an electrical apprentice, died. Yeah, that's very in the close roof to home. in I think Brisbane or Queensland or something like that. Yeah, that's kind the of the day fucked. that I had heat stroke. That's fucked. Mm. So very close to home. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Thank you. And it was fucking hot today, and I didn't. I, I feel all right now. I'm just scared. I'm still so scattered. I have like a similar experience because I also have a hard job of working from home in an office, <laughs> but there's no aircon, so. <laughs> I know you laugh, but I felt like I had heat stroke this week. It was shit. Yeah. Dude, I was a bit like out of it. Like I didn't go gym all week. Like I'd finish work, I'd yeah. shower and I'd just pass out. Like I'd just be so tired. Yeah. Yeah. You sound like all the 
70 year old ladies that complain about the air con exactly working. dude it's so hot mm. yeah fuck you <laughs> <laughs> it sucks I know you're up in roofs and shit but you're, it's also it sucks that there's no air con bro my air con runs 24-7 yours well, your work though would be or you're at night so it's not no, as bad no it's fucked like it is fucked it's, it's just a big shed though. it's so humid bro yeah. and like oh because you guys don't have cold rooms eh? you're just no out. no no we got cold rooms bro it's fucking like there's like three cold rooms that vary in temperature there's like a negative room and like yeah Keep Are you, can, do you just hide in there no so like where we sell is outside on the floor so it's like not in any of the cold rooms mm. so when you're constantly walking in and out of the fucking cold room bro oh my it, god it, it's just like, twice as bad as you walk out it of. is so bad bro like you literally feel like passing out all the time like it's mm. fucking ridiculous and especially when the sun comes up and shit or even on the fork i was on the forklift today just driving, bro. The bright. fumes on that too. Yeah, but the fumes are fucking not. No, well, they, not I mean, the exhaust heat that comes out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, literally, just got off the fork for like five minutes, got back on it, bro. And I swear, I got my ass burnt, like leather seat. Oh you know, yeah, like, it was fucking cool, bro, bro. My apprentice fully burnt his hand today because I picked up a black wrench. You know, oh, like he actually he fucked. went and fucking dropped it in a hole, like fucking across his arm was like red. Uh, that's Ooh. not good. Mm. Yeah, that's probably a sure sign to stop work and go fuck home. I was thinking this like if it was my company, I'd at least give everyone a half day at least. I thought you were gonna say give everyone a hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> fucking tough it up, bro. Because no, we had like people out at like site that like yeah had to go to hospital a lot and like would yeah. die. But we have to have like safety toolboxes because we have like hundreds and thousands of people out there mm. yeah. so like you like your manager makes you take a break after every hour yeah. like you have to go sit in the shade for five minutes you have to go drink some icy water um, and then you go back I went up to the office yesterday because uh, I like after the sunstroke I was good like I had it Wednesday yesterday I went to the office they go how you feeling I'm like yeah good and he goes yeah but yeah it's meant to be 37 tomorrow and he's like yeah <laughs> it's gonna be really hot <laughs> I'm like what the fuck so he said, yeah, does, does he get fu- out there? No, he goes and does quotes every now and again. And he's the owner or? No, nah, he's uh, the owner's, yeah, owner's doesn't do shit. Well, but he's the owner, so. No, he's not, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. But it, it, then actually we were going to ask guys, but it was like, yeah, just make sure you drink water and be careful. Like, yeah, dude. No, half day? <laughs> Thanks, half day? He said, get the fuck back to work, bitch. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. Are you no, on the clock? I think it's a bit of he's a like, fun. that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Too loo. He's wow. sitting there. It was I because we install aircon. It's ice cold in that in that office. Get back out there, champ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pat on the back, bro. <laughs> oh, you, you did no. the uh, Marcus this week at uh, South Bank, eh? Last week. Last week. How's that? Oh, I was gonna talk about that actually. Fucking yeah, it was a good day, bro. Yeah. Fucking really, really. Oh, bro, hot day. That was like one of those thirty-seven. It was 36. fucking hot on Australia. That was Australia day. day. Oh, bro, boiling. Mm. And um, we were we were right next to the um, that auditorium thing. You know, like where you, where we did the stairs. Yeah, the amp- we, amphitheater. The, the gay stairs. Yeah, yeah, near yeah. the gay stairs. That sounds so bad, but it was in a video. No, it's a thing. It is a thing. Um, check out our vlog channel. It's a it's link in the first link in the description. Yeah, there you go. Bam bang. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyways, we were right over there, bro, and it was pretty cool. Um, good day, really good day. We we prepared. We thought we prepared ourselves heaps for it, bro. Mm. Like we spent so many hours like cutting up fruit and all that shit, and then got there and we pretty much sold out in like the first two three hours bro I had, to get, I had to get sage to fucking go back to the shed grab everything bring it all back bring to the thing yeah we sold out like we made like probably like a hundred liters of juice maybe less Fuck. like different flavors and everything like that mm. gone all gone ice yeah, cream shit. all gone all the mango all gone like literally everything it was, it was hot as fuck yeah, like, it was even refreshing too it was a good day and then we didn't have to do well we didn't have anything to do the weekend markets yeah. so when do you flip this flip. and do it like how Zach's boss is doing and get someone else to run out in the heat while you sit in the <laughs> Um <laughs> nah I, like we already have plans for that but like I don't really want to say it just in case it doesn't happen in that time frame because when you say it it's sort of going to happen in that time frame yeah, yeah, yeah. but hopefully soon Expan- that's, that's what I can say. Soon. Yeah, hopefully soon, bro. Like probably, I don't know, man. Like I, it's hard to put a time frame on it, but hopefully by the end of this year, we'll, would, be, we'll be pretty independent. Like, if you're hiring, would you hire me and Zach? Yeah, yeah. fucking no. Nice. I work really hard in the heat. Fucking no, nice. like, bro. It's not even a hard. <laughs> you job. can only pick one. Who you hiring? Um, sorry, bro. Really? Let's go! Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, but Let's go! He's more, he's more like... Bitch, all right, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> no, no, this, no, bitch no. Sits, this bitch sits in a fucking office all day and then complains about it being yeah, hot but on I a chair. Like he's, he's more like... He's more like someone... Peop, old I people, have sales experience! Old, old people would approach him. 
Like when he's holding the little testers out the front and he'd be like, oh, hey, darling, how's your day going? You're not going to say, hey, darling, how's your day going? Oh, I'm going to say, drink this you fucking juice, fuck bitch. Yeah, legit. And you got a big ass beard and you probably yeah. scare some kids. Right. Now, no, Harry, Harry's, Harry's going under, he's getting like, sued. Literally. Nah, I'm saying this right now. Let's Worst go. mistake ever. Bullshit. Let's go. Yeah, but I could actually cook. Like, You're making not smoothies cooking. is good. Like, I'm good nah. at that. No, no, you won't be making nothing. Like, Oh, what am I doing? No, Zach, I work with Zach in the kitchen, so he'd be making this movie. You'd just be nah, out, the, you'd be out the front. Yeah, I'm not. I'm making. Holding oh, the, I'm the front man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh, you, I'm prettier than you. Nah, wait. That's hey, what fuck he that. said. Wait, guys. He said he wants Co- me at the front of the come store. Come see me at the market. The <laughs> come see me at the markets. Uh, <laughs> It's gonna be army smoothies. All I gotta say is everyone's part of the team. Nah, These are all no. equal pillars holding this it's company up. Actually, it's not <laughs> equal at all. My paycheck is higher than his. That's some bullshit, bro. Oh, that's good. I outwork you every... Oh, maybe not every day. No, fucking don't work that much. <laughs> <laughs> not in, in editing, I don't outwork. <laughs> Computer-wise, don't. But for smoothies, you reckon you got me? Mm. Uh, I reckon, well, There's I no reckon, way you're making smoothies faster than me. Bullshit. I'm so much quicker than you know. It's not, a, no way. it's not about the speed. The quality. I'm a, yeah, I'm better at all that. I'm spinning in every smoothie now. Uh, believe that <laughs> he's not getting hired bro that's who you wanted to hire if you see him at any of our <laughs> stores really don't, 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 don't don't even buy a smoothie bro I won't even be mad yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's wild. fine I wouldn't actually <laughs> out of me and Aaron put my dick in that goddamn smoothie oh no that's wild <laughs> I get, you can wait that but one. hopefully hopefully <laughs> self independent like hopefully independent in by the end of the year yeah like have a few market stores going people working for us we just manage and look over the thing. Yeah, that true. goes for like all the other businesses that we're starting to this year. Mm. That's a vibe. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like yeah. That. Flip Fingers it, make crossed. it a chain. Fingers crossed. Yeah, and a chain that we still own, not like a franchise. Yeah. So like, I don't we, have, are you, can still, I'd have own like, the franchise of it and yeah. franchise it out. No, no, no. See, that's, no, I'd rather have people just, we just pay Work people. for it. Yeah. 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 I, think like, I think it's easier, man. Because then we have more say in what, how we wanted to look. Each store's doing it, especially yeah. underneath your guy's umbrella. Yeah, well, yeah, Well, exactly. I get, well, isn't like Subway's franchised? And yeah. they have to do things the same. You can just own it. Yeah, all, all uh, fast foods are franchised. You yeah. can um, bleep, you, you probably should bleep this out because it's not set in stone yet. But like, do you want to hear our fucking, what our enterprise is going to be called? I think you told it's me. It's fire, I told you, but yeah. it's fire. Is it? Well, am I going to laugh at it? Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can beep it out. There. <laughs> yeah, it. It's, um, but you got to say it like that, like, <laughs> and um, it's short, it's short for <laughs> High school shit. <yeah. laughs> Awful. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Can we workshop that? Can we like no, mix it around no, on no, your no, set? No, definitely not. That's yeah. set in stone. Yeah, we're gonna buy that soon. Oh, why? Ha- mm. Put money against it. Mm. Oh. Ha- is it? Is it? A, is it a? We'll stop saying it now. <laughs> yeah, please, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. That's. Well. I'm leaving it in. He's better. He's better. He's better at computer stuff than you are. <laughs> Help with the editing? Yeah, kick rock. Bro, bitch. that Amar <laughs> interview was fucking so much effort. <laughs> oh, bro, it would have been with those names. He told me like where to cut it, but then I didn't realize how much he said it in the stories <laughs> afterwards. Because he just kept saying it. Yeah, he did set saying it. I cut well, out now, 10 but, minutes of it. I don't know why. So you, did you leave out every time he said the, the album name? Uh, every time he said somebody's name. He was telling us a story uh, about his friend uh, and what yeah. he thought of his He's music. already promoted the album name. Yeah, but he's already promoted the album name. So I don't yeah. know if you cut that out or not. Um, you no, I, left, I left the yeah, name Because he, he literally started promoting it after yeah. we, before we released but it. But everything else I was like cutting and it was yeah. just fucking work. He was a pretty good guest to have on, to be honest. He talked like... He was really good in it. Yeah. I he just was, like... I like his music. I like his whole... Good. His whole style yeah, the is one, like the, one the that's stuff com- I The one that's coming out... This month or well, February? Yeah, mm. the one that he put a snippet out with. Yeah, it's very good. It's more like the style of hip hop I usually listen to. Anyway, it's the hard. It's hard. It's so good. He's got really good music. Yeah, very, very impressive. Talented. Who's your well, favorite? Who's your favorite person we've interviewed so far? Fuck, fuck me. Sorry, I'm just, the, I'm the, still the, having, the, hit, humana, humana. having a stroke. It's fine. What's your favorite artist and song that you've had on the podcast so far? What's my favorite artist that we've had on so far? That's a tough Just question. Just like the mu- music wise. Oh. Like like this favorite song that you Oh, have. music wise. I thought you meant like interview like the guy we met so far. No. We, we love everyone the same. No, we, that's we not do. true at all. I definitely have favorites. <laughs> yeah. so, 100%. We're the realest podcast out in Brisbane. We don't lie. They're all my favorite. I think favorite. that's <laughs> They're all my favorite. <laughs> 
I think. Oh, bro. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Beefy's got some bangers coming out this year. I've heard a few of them. Nah, it doesn't count. I know. Yeah, I know. But Beefy, I've heard a lot of his Beefy. Beefy, he's got some stuff coming. Yeah, he played a snippet one time, and I was like, "Oh, that's hard." Actually, mm. yeah, most of my, I think my favorite one was stuff that haven't been out yet. Yeah, I think Amar, the, um, the one that's coming out for Amar's is probably one of my. Chilby and he's got some shit coming out. Oh yeah, he and it was good. the not the first. It was like the second one he played. Yeah, it was so fucking good. Yeah, and I was like, that's like really good. Well, the one, one of the ones he played was Broken Man, which is out now. That one I liked, but no, he had the other one where he was going hard UK drill. It, and was, it was so good. It was very good. I was just very surprised because it sounded nothing like him, which was funny as fuck. R- release that. Sound like he was from the UK. And Harry Demos has got a fucking good song. Yeah, well, that's what I was gonna say. Harry Demos yeah. probably my favorite so far. Yeah, he's got a lot of. Oh uh, yeah, well, today's that's out, today's like, guest that was meant to be on. He has some fire. And he had a lot of songs out I, too. I couldn't find any. I, I was working while well, chapter three, research. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I couldn't fire. find too much. No, we were good playing shit. it just before. It was very good. Yeah, okay. Very good. I remember, like, we we saw him at, we won't talk too much better, but we saw him at the, at the last, mm. at one Glass of the last Arts. Glass Arts we went mm. to. And then we wrote his name down because we wanted to interview him. How funny was it though today when I called you and I was like, the whole thing setting it up was way too easy. <laughs> yeah. I called this whole thing, bro. Like, literally, yeah. I finished work, called Zach, and I was like, Yo, what's going on? You ready for the podcast? He was like, uh, no, I haven't researched. I'm like, yeah, me either. All good. It is what it is. Um, anyways, I was like, setting up the interview is way too easy, bro. I was like, he hit us up. I told a date and a time. He said yes. And that was the end of the conversation. I was like, it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> 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 and then like literally 15 minutes before the interview starts. Yeah. I think, we, I think we just start making a rule. If they flake us twice, no go. But he's very talented. No, I would no, like him on. I like him on too. Mm. But like, there's some other people that we've had. Like, see, it's there's like two. Weird... There's two people that has we've we've organized twice that have ditched. I'm the future. You fuck with. No, he's. A... <laughs> 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 but if you're free next week, like, you're free well, next week, bro, come through. Yeah. Oh, not I'm the future. Fucking, what's his face? And that's what I meant, bro. I'm sorry. I'm the future. <laughs> you're you're a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what I leave in, but fuck it. Um, just the names. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Just know. leave in the names. Bleep everything else. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's hard setting rules because I know I'd like probably bend those rules if it was somebody that I'm really trying to. No, me too. Yeah, I'm like, dude, whatever you're trying to do, dude. Yeah, yeah, we we'll get it. But you, whatever you need, bro. You don't. You'd only feel that way if you like vibe their music or whatever. Yeah. If they had fuck all on, like half the people we've had on, that, and then they flex twice it. or whatever it is, it's just like. Whoa, yeah. bro! Come on, man. Like, I think, I think, uh, Harry was saying, I think something we do need to do is be a bit more like real when it comes to this kind of stuff too, and not beat around the bush with their shit, and don't have anything on. Like, say no if we need to. Say no and saying like, that, saying no say to no them interview. coming on. You yeah. guys fucking suck at saying no, dude. Yeah, that's something I'm trying you to. You guys fix are little up. thoughts. Yeah, just giving out to anybody. Okay. Who's anybody? Who's anybody that we've had on? No, I, think I people, feel like everyone that I we've had on have helped us grow in a certain way and connected to the, connected us to other. I people. I don't think we've had anyone on that. No, that's not what I meant. No, who we've mean? had on. That's not what I meant. Oh, then what? Oh, thoughts. Is that what you said? No. No, I meant like you're being like pick me's. Yeah. He doesn't know what that means. That's all right. No, I don't That's know what right. that means. That's your new slang for this week. Learn what that is. <laughs> what is it? I just learned what this was, it was this week because I keep fucking hearing girls what's, saying that what's shit. The word? Pick me. Two words. Pick me. Like pick me, girls. They're like they those should be girls that um, kind of laugh at every guy's jokes and they kind of like get real flirty and they kind of just agree with them. Is that what we are? Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Really? Yeah. Is yeah. that what we are? Yeah. I think I know I am. You definitely are. Yeah. I'm trying to change that this year. Shit. Yes. I mean, I like everyone we've had on, so. No. <laughs> Zach said no. <laughs> no. He's learning. No. Yeah, I, actually, I do like a lot of, like most, 90, 99% of the people we've had on. Who's, year, the, who's that 0.1% you don't like? <laughs> nah, no, 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 it's not like that, bro. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, I think the worst I, interview we've done. The worst. Uh, all right, we're gonna weed the name out, right? Yeah, yeah. No, beat, no, no. Beat I, the name out. I, I know the worst one. I think we've done, but I don't think it was his fault. I think it was our fault. Who, who, who was it? I think we fucked up with data. 
Data oh, Rooney. Oh, yeah, yeah. We fucked Data's up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Data, if you're watching this, man, I apologize. Yeah, yeah no, that was, so that was an average. Or I forgot. Because we were, it's not your fault, man, but you came in and we had recorded the night before. It was so and we were wildly hungover. <laughs> We've got a handle on our drinking now. <laughs> Zach's not drinking. Harry can't stand not drinking. And Dada, we'd love to I don't you. drink. We'd love to give you a proper shake, man. Uh, tenuous for me to get you on. I saw but him, yeah. I remember like the whole time we were sitting there and, and they like brought the f- fucking buckets of shots. And Dana was so nice. And he, he was, was just a so fucking. G. No, we finished the bucket. Oh no, we didn't finish the bucket. Did, did we, we not? Just- yeah, we finished the bucket. No, we because did. we finished both his, but I don't know if we finished. We did. His. We did finish his. But we're just so he was so high energy and nice, and just trying to have a good time and drink. And all I could think was, I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, I was like, I did not want to finish that bucket. No. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I did not want to finish that. I think we should get. I think for the first episode back, we get on the bucket. I was just gonna get fucking drunk again. But I'm not we're gonna get drunk again. But I'm not drinking, so yeah, that's why yeah. get a bucket of water. We're gonna start getting drunk again. Now, we're right? gonna get drunk again, or we gotta change this fucking name of this podcast. Nah, I like it's the false name. advertising. I like the name. I I think. I mean, I'm sober, so I don't know how it's gonna work. What sober for the rest of the year? I, I was thinking about it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, can you not just have like at least one drink on the <laughs> pod? <laughs> it's not the same. Like, I'm 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 balancing the trying to be like a supportive friend, but also like fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, you're yeah, being yeah. entertaining. Well, technically, like dance for I've you. Been, monkey. I've been okay. getting so much shit done, and I really like. No, it. it's great. I'm I'm so oh, happy too. for you. Like 100. Yeah, percent I am 100 percent happy for you. But, but also, you also came up with <laughs> you also came up with the name of the podcast. <laughs> it and was you said, your hey. idea, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the description is two guys drinking beer, slurring words. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I literally told him at the start, you can't keep this going. He's like, no, we can. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep doing. It. And I was like, exactly, you can't. He's like. like and then he's like, and then a year later, he's like, mm, don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> all I know is that all the advice I give Zach, he's like, nah. And then a year later, he's like, actually. He does that a lot. It he does that, does a, that lot. a lot. A he, lot. Goes, he goes, nah, I don't like that idea. And then yeah. he regurgitates yeah. it. Like, yeah. He tries to a spin it back to yeah. like a month later. He's yeah. like, you know what I was thinking? No, yeah. you words. All the time. No, you words. All no. the time. You know, you know what? 100% correct. <laughs> all the time, <laughs> all bro. The time. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even get mad anymore. I'm like, let's just chill out for no, a bit. Like, I, I, he, he's given five around. minutes. Does this guy come back sleep on him? I thought, it? Come back. I thought for so long that I was not like that. My exes used to tell me that all the time. I know. And I'm now realizing I'm exactly like that. Mm. So. We're more supportive than your exes, though. Yeah. We well, haven't that, left. Uh, <laughs> 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 we haven't broken up with you yet. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Fuck, you know. And we don't beat up people in car parks. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a, weird, that's a weird thing. I was thinking about that the other day. Dude. Why are you thinking about it? We don't have to talk about this again. Because, no, we don't have to talk about it again. But I just think about, like, uh, I think about random things all the time about random people doing weird shit. I was thinking about that dude that's dating that girl that looks like an eight year old. Oh, again. And I'm about this again. No, no, we're not. But I was just thinking, like, oh, maybe I'm wrong. So I go through, like, old stuff. <laughs> so with- you go through Instagram. <laughs> I go through old Get some lube, and you're like, ah, oh, cool. Let's see if we can get around this. Is that what you did? No. Yo. Did- <laughs> After your whole little dive into that thing, did you think she was hot at the end of it? No. And that's the thing. A week later, I thought about it. I'm like, maybe I was being too harsh. And then I saw it and looked at the photo. I'm like, no, I think I'm doubling <laughs> down, actually. You sick fuck. Yeah, the dude's a creep, bro. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. then I was thinking about, you know, his but, story about the girl in the car park. And I'm like, you know, we laughed. And then I, that's kind of really fucked up. Yeah, a little bit. Still, no, just just, little just little out bit. of curiosity, do you still talk to her? I legitimately don't. You legitimately oh, no, don't? I legitimately have not talked to her since then. That's good. That's healthy. <laughs> no she rant. She my fucking shoulder. <laughs> 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 Uh, hey guys, I'm with a new friend group. Someone uh, that's supportive. Is he big and unsupportive? Oh no. He does boxing and his girl breaks his shoulder. Oh no, bro. <laughs> Fuck. She's a small uh, girl too, bro. She's fucking tiny. Tiny, bro. bro. Tiny. Have you met her? No, I've just seen photos. She's like a cannonball. She's so, like half the size of my Jasmine. Bro. Yeah, tiny. She's <laughs> tiny, bro. She's actually sh- she's shorter than Mel. Uh, bro, that's fucked. Yeah, bro. not the best. That's funny as. Oh, yeah, that's hilarious. hilarious actually. I've, got, I've got some. <laughs> so, do you guys see the video of uh, the kid getting bit by a shark? What? Wow, what a fucking downer, dude. <laughs> that was a big switch up. Uh, what a horrible transition. Right, let's continue talking about my ex-girlfriend. No, 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 but like, uh, uh, what, how's your ex-girlfriend gone? I saw about, that, about eh? happy stuff. I don't know. You tell me, bro. <laughs> 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 what well, has your ex-girlfriend gone, Harry? I don't what fucking know. I don't check on her. You I, weirdo. I, I, actually, no. Fuck this. I was going to save this for a game. I've got a good one. We're talking about exes. Yeah, go for it. 
you have, have to answer this, right? It's, it's have to answer basis. If you had to have a baby with any of your exes or ex partners, sexual partners, and it can't be your current, who would it be? I'm not answering that. That's the yeah, dumbest that's the stupidest fuck. question ever. That's dumb as fuck. And it means nothing because they're saying random names anyway. And they're my exes for real. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm not having a kid with them. This is the worst question. <laughs> First, he came with a kid getting eaten by a shark. And the other one was, yo, name which ex you like the most. I honestly don't know which no, one's no. worse. <laughs> so we can talk about the shark now? Yeah, yeah it's fine. Right, cool. It's so much better than the fucking <laughs> like it, the other better. thing. Doing, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, I'll show you the video. <laughs> you gotta work on well, your out of curiosity, do you have a name? No. Definitely not the fucking <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, I depend- oh, I'm up. <laughs> If we have kids though, that motherfucker would be able to fight though, you know? And also get beaten up. Just, okay. So, <laughs> I'll get- Kids I'll, gonna be I'll, a fucking So the, the <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be one of those hard cushions, where it like hurts when you hit him, but he still gets hit. <laughs> uh, hey guys, <laughs> this, this has been one too many, this is my last episode. <laughs> Oh, sorry, bro. Talk about your fucking shark story. Oh, shit. So there was a story of a kid getting... Um, a kid getting beaten... <laughs> fucking... Can't. Oh, uh, it's so story. hot! Oh, can I turn the fucking fan yeah, on again, turn the please? Fuck, fuck your noise. So this is a video that I saw the other day. I'm setting you up for a TikTok now. Smooth. So there was this video I saw the other day of a guy getting... <laughs> Real fucking smooth, dude. <laughs> You gotta stop telling me during the vlog. Uh, just let him know. <laughs> <laughs> let me know afterwards or something. I was just like, kick up! You're so ruining the, the magic trick. <laughs> so there's a, there's a video I saw the other day. I want you guys to react to it. It's a kid getting bit by a shark. And I saw it on TikTok. I don't know. I went through a weird thing on TikTok. That's a really weird thing. Dude. But it's literally up, like dead ass. You see the, the shark come up, bite the kid. It's fucking crazy. Can you show me what you got? The shark wants <laughs> Oh fuck! He like, gets like bit by a shark though. That guy came out of nowhere, bro. Yeah. Bro, what Christ. the fuck? And he's smiling. Yeah, he loves it. Oh, the kid's a fucking psycho. <laughs> oh, you little freak. It's fucking wild, eh? Yeah. Cool though. That is that That's fucking cool story. How'd you come across that? Like, wh- and also, why are people posting that on Facebook? Well, that was actually on Nine News Australia. That's TikTok. wild. Remember that time my kid nearly got eaten? But like. He's lucky because, like, apparently it just it just felt tight and then it just let go. Yeah, it didn't actually like like his. It, it was also it, like a baby shark. Yeah, it looked, like, it looked yeah. like a baby shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. baby shark. It was, it was still probably like a meter long shark, two meter long shark. Two meters. And it bit nah, where his heart was. Yeah, it was like bit like his whole chest. Yeah, like his whole heart would have been dipped. Because, gone because it was going for the fish. He was holding. Thank it. God he didn't because the dad would have had that on the recording. It would have been a fucked video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just if had you this video forever, if you were that parent, would be bad. that was wild. Yeah. Imagine being a parent and seeing that shit. Yeah, you, you delete the video, right? He posted it. No, no, if your no, kid died. No, if your kid died. Oh. Do you delete the video? Yeah. What? Uh, do you play, yes! it at, do you play <laughs> it at the funeral? This is the fucking issue with content creators, right? They just think that everything needs to be posted. Don't post that! Do you play it at the funeral? Like, it he, w- it's what he wanted. He took my heart away. <laughs> <laughs> You play like some sad shit behind him, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. That's actually fucked up. It's pretty cool, though. Do you know what I was excited about this week, which mm. you guys are not going to be excited about? Mm. Um, Beyonce announced the world tour. Didn't she just get paid like two, like $4 million? $24 for, like, million. Dollars yeah, we talked now. about this. 24 That's for That's fucked. Yeah, anyway. And now what's she doing, sorry? She's got a world tour. So it's her first tour in like years. I think it's been like four or five and years. And just coming to here? Uh, we don't know yet. She hasn't announced what's all up? the spots at. But then, like, people were, like, guessing prices because apparently someone leaked some of the prices for, like, US and Europe. A lot. Bro, apparently some of them going for, like, a grand standard. <laughs> like, that's the low end. And I I love Beyonce. I would love to see her. I reckon it'd be, like, a fucking amazing concert. But I don't know if I'm paying a grand. Bro, I, no, you're no. not paying a fucking but grand. My question to y'all is, how much would you guys pay? What artist would you pay a grand for? No, nah, none. I don't think there is one either. Me? I didn't even pay that for Drake. I'm sorry, but like, I, but like, bro, I just don't give a fuck. Like, you're making stupid money. You, you don't need to charge stupid uh, ticket prices. Now, this is all like hearsay, so she might not actually be charging yeah, prices. Yeah, that's fine, she but like, be- I mean, like, you have to make it affordable for your fans, bro. Like, you, yeah. or your yeah, fans yeah. vary from like, that's like that's super like you, rich to like super poor you get or greedy. whatever. And then it's just like the guys who really want to see you, bro. Like, your yeah. diehard fans could be in that lower end of the bracket. There, like, not enough money, can't afford a grand. 
Like, bro, yeah. fuck, bro. You got to make it affordable for those guys. You know what I mean? They're your diehard fans, bro. Like, you know what I love? There's like... Um, I was a big Jake Hall fan like throughout all the high school, but he used to do this uh, Dollar and a Dream tour. Mm. So he would go to like cities where he used to perform like around colleges. And for that one night, uh, you only had to pay a dollar at the door. That's fucking cool. And he did it for like years. He did it when he was bigger as well. Like he went back to those cities. He's like, yo, there's limited seats. Come, Come here. Quick. If you give me a dollar at the door, you he can just, get in. He just did something with dope. like um, producers as well. Um, I think he went in <clears throat> on YouTube and typed in Jake Hall type beats and he found one he liked laid bars on that beat contacted the guy who made the beat and said this is yours now that's and, and gave it to him that's fucking cool yeah pretty cool this is the reason that he's my favorite rapper he just does dope shit he's just real bro he just does dope. just shit. like yeah. this podcast number one realist podcast shut the fuck up shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't ruin this guy from <laughs> no but seriously though yeah. j cole j cole is a g bro yeah. on another level uh, like he's he's fucking really especially really growing up in high school you kind of see like rappers do dope shit and yeah. he was the first one like I remember when he sold his car in like 2015. Yeah. And he's been running around a bike. Yeah, because like, yeah, he was like in living in New York recording and yeah. he was just like, there's fucking no reason for me to have this. Like I'm stuck in traffic for like mm. two hours. So he just sold it. So did, I think he still doesn't own a car. That's fucking wild. He dresses like a bum because it's as close as he likes. He fucking played basketball for like, like an African league. Yeah, didn't he sign, like pop a sign with him? Yeah, because he tried to like, he like, um, yeah, he tried to go through a Canadian league and then he ended up trialing for a American, uh, African team. He played for like a season with them. He is really good at basketball. He is really yeah, good. Yeah, I've heard he's really good. There's at a few celebrities who are like really good, bro. Like Chris Brown reckons he runs the games with um all these NBA people, bro. Yeah. And like one on ones, and he reckons he beats them. He has he's, like he, that's cap. I don't know. He's pretty good. He's the pretty NBA good. players, your cap. I don't know. Some of them. Some of them are shit, bro. Some of them like no, they're not okay. People keep saying NBA players are shit because they like are bench players. They're shit compared to me. Duh. No, they're like, like the point zero 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 one percent. They're the best 400 people in the world. What about the people that didn't have the opportunity to go to college and fucking trial out for an NBA team? Yeah, that they're better than who? them. I don't know. Bro, have you seen that video of... um? Oh, fuck, who was it? There's a bunch of like street ballers that everyone's like, yo, you should be in the NBA. And so they ran a oh, game, not, right? Not the professor or whatever is fucking... Bro, name. the professor, the everyone, Hot Sauce. Yeah, yeah. Bro, Hot Sauce went for a game. He left, they called him <laughs> Gravy. <laughs> That's how, like I feel, real, the- I feel real bad for Zach right now. <laughs> <laughs> the video doesn't think I'm like, yeah. like, like Sorry, oh, I fucking hate this shit. Yeah. No, but anyway, on. yeah, uh, J. Cole played in Africa. He was doing dope shit. Yeah. He's the best. He is good. Yeah, and he's not is no, he the best? none of these people. I thought you think Quavo is really good. He actually at basketball, yeah. But apparently he's good at like every sport. Lil Dicky. Pretty good. Basketball. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Killer, bro. Jack also, Harlow. Apparently, yeah, he's alright. Apparently Adam Sandler. Really good. Adam Sandler's really You would really expect good. that. But yeah, after his last movie. He's just been playing, yeah. apparently, like his whole life. Mm. And he just loves it doing it. And that's all he wants to do now. Drake is getting better. He was ass when you began. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad. Well, he got a basketball court in his fucking yeah, mansion. Yeah, I say, you kind of need to be good then. Yeah, but he plays like, uh, he runs like a league amongst his friends. Mm. Which I think is super fucking funny. Because he just happens to win every year. <laughs> Yeah, what's that league called, bro? So I watched a few games. Like twenty one seconds. Imagine running a league, but you always have to win because you're Drake. Like that's so some funny, funny yeah. shit. <laughs> what but, is that league called? Because like there is um like twenty one Savage is a part of it. Chris Brown's a part of it. Oh, I meant the one just like the OVO one with his friends. Oh, I don't okay, know there's fair, another fair. one. No, there's like a full celebrity league, bro. Oh, like they full have the teams. one that uh, Jack Hartley was in. Yeah, and they Russ get was in. they get their team together. Yeah, and then they they're, they're the manager of that team. Yeah, and then they verse other rappers' teams and shit. Yeah. That shit was funny as fuck. Yeah, some dope. people pretty good don't. idea. But if you watch like Drewski and Jack Harlow, yeah. and they were hosting it, so fucking funny. Fucking Drewski is so Those two are like funny. best mates, yeah. He's, yeah, they're best they're mates. They're so good. But honestly, Drewski's like probably my favorite, like, because I didn't really know who he was until like last year. What does he mm. do? He's like a, he's a, he's a comedian. He used to be a comedian. He used to be like an IG comedian. Oh, no, no. He's, he was a DJ slash. Um, no, nah, he runs a record label now. Record label. So he doesn't really do anything. Okay, cool. <laughs> No, like, there's does. like four <laughs> different stories right happening right now. So like, he does a lot. He no, does this. He no, does like he all these do things, right? Like so he like helped tour. Like so he was like hosting events. That's, so he yeah. used to host events for Jack. Yeah, yeah. Back when they were broke as shit, and he told a bunch of stories about that. Um, he's an IG comedian. So did he come up because of Jack? Um, he came up with Jack. He came up with because they were both not anybody when they were but doing. He shit. was running the tours and being the MC. Yeah. For Jack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But That's now fun. he's like honestly he's hosting events. He's funny as fuck and he's got a tour at the moment. 
So I think he's doing like comedian stuff. He's got like other comedians coming up with him. Um, he like hosts like sporting events, but he's just fucking entertaining. We need to go to the sit down comedy in Paddington. The Did comedy you, club? Oh, the sit down. Have you been? We should go. But I went to go watch Andrew Schultz. What? No, we went, uh, that's Bro, fucking cool. I love that guy. No, bro. this was he's years. so funny. Because I was listening to him since like high school and then he came fuck before, way before COVID. Mm. It would have been like 2018. Co- yeah. COVID made him blow up though. COVID blew him up a lot. Yeah. He like did. he was doing like fine and then he just had those short videos and they just snapped. Yeah. Bro. yeah. And that's, then he just kept snapping. I love his improv, bro. He's bro. so good He's at so improv. good at crowd work. So yeah. good, bro. I think that's what you need. You need good crowd work to be a good comedian nowadays because that's what people like. Yeah. And he's so intelligent, bro. His flagrant podcast. Have yeah. you guys... Yeah. I listen to it every... Ooh. Yeah. Like honestly, I was just thinking about this. Like I've been listening to Andrew and like Charlemagne the God. Mm. Like I think every week since I was in high school, mm, mm, mm. and I think damn near every day sometimes. Like, damn, Charlemagne's hard to. No, he's not hard to listen to, but I kind of get over his shit. Eh? I like, think he's kind of a cock. I love it, and I love it because I like. I guess when like in high school, he used to do like wild dumb shit. Like he used to do like those viral video shit. Mm. Like he'd just say wild shit just to say it, blah blah blah. And then you kind of see him grow up and kind of change. I think it's dope. I think yeah. Uh, maybe we should start saying some wild shit. I fucking yeah, dude. I bought all his books, all that fucking shit is dope. All the Charlemagne's books? It's kind of lit. There's only two. <laughs> there, is, <laughs> there is only two. There's only two. When was the last time you read a book, Aaron? Oh, bro, it's been a minute. Probably I fucking school. gave you his book. I oh, know, it's, it's, um... <laughs> it's is only the book I gave him. It's in his room. It's it's his book. <laughs> is that his book? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's about how he started. It's actually very good. Maybe you should have opened mm. with that. I did. Did you? Motherfucker, he don't be listening to me. Hey, just like what you books? were drunk in Bali when you crashed that drone in me, I was drunk when you handed that book to me. Yeah, yeah that is uh, true. Pretty much. Same fair. Yeah. I still think you should come full driving with me this weekend. You should go, Harry. We're on a moped. Video comes Look, in. Look, we never get Please? <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd be funny. No, Can yeah. I, you, I'm going to use that clip, actually. Go camping, Harry. Fuck you. You go camping. No, nah, I can't. I'm working. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's next to <laughs> Same. I'm also going camping. I'm getting heat stroke in my office. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's funny because I said it as a joke, but I low-key meant it. Like, I, I know. Felt, I, I, fucking, I felt it. Yeah, dude. I was very uncomfortable this week. Life was hard. Mm. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck you. I fucking, it was fucking I hate this hot. shit. It's still hot. Is it? Yeah. It's fucking gross. Walk outside. It's fucked. <laughs> I, um, I gotta say, have you guys like West End? Love. Yeah, uh, I don't really go there often. Favorite the suburb in the, in the city. There Ooh, are shit, some really? fuck, It is. There are some fucking characters down there. How fun is it? Bro. I it's was just dri- different. I was driving through, <laughs> mind my business after work, and I looked to my left, there's a fucking half naked guy, bald head, shirtless, Cracked out of his mind, mm. putting Hitler signs to school kids, just throwing <laughs> up Hitler signs, yelling and screaming. How do you throw up a Hitler sign? I did the whole mustache and the hand in the air. Oh shit! Just yelling at these fucking school kids. Uh, <laughs> I thought he was trying to make a swastika it's with his fingers. It's the best suburb in Brisbane. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, honestly, I always say this: like, if I move out, I really want to move to West End. No, and it's this weird mix of like half of it is really bougie, and the other half is just. Scummy. Bro, it's so crappy. so scummy. But I, it's like a weird, like, it's very expensive. Was this yesterday? And it's very cheap. This is like a couple of days ago, two, three days ago. I saw a crackhead yesterday in the city, bro, at the markets. Yeah. He was playing basketball with a pole. <laughs> yeah, it was wild. Hey, in, it's the, in the middle of fucking summer, bro. Like, we were watching, he had track pants on, long sleeve shirt. Me, Shay, and Ethan were standing there. And this cunt literally walked down the stairs. He was just like, uh, uh, uh. And then there was a pole in front of him, and he's just like, <laughs> like, bro, it was just cracked the fuck out though. Right? Uh, it was so wild. That's, that's fun. That's well, a- I love West End. It's like the same homeless people every week. They just out there chilling. Um, mm. I used to, I love all the bars there. The food is good. Where like, else the are they gonna be chilling, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good fucking point. I don't know. I thought they were like nomads, vagabonds. They move around, but mm-hmm. these ones they just be chilling on the same corner every day. Doing the same crap. They've been there for years. They have, yeah, I, they, they, they have been there for a long time. So are they know. homeless then? If that, like, if they, yep. That's their home. Well, I that's saw a sleeping bag. Like, I don't think they're allowed to sleep there. I think they sleep in the park and they come back. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. I love West End. I have, it's weird. Anything oh, can okay. happen. Well, if you could live in one suburb, where would it be? Uh, hmm. Balimba. No, no, fuck that. Fuck that. I love Balimba. No. It is. This is why we don't have, this is why you're behind the camera. Shut the fuck the up. Balimba, I, want, I want space, sure. bro. I want, I want, I want, I'm Sunny Coast in lands. Yeah, that's a that's good spot. Like, I'm like, I want to clean th- that. 30 acres, Sunny Coast in lands. 
That's nice. Mm. That's solid. Boo. Fuck your West End. You gotta fucking look up. You want, you want space, G. You want space, and you're close to the beach too. That's not I really bad. don't want space, though. Why not? You gotta look after the space. You got 30 acres. You looking after 30 acres? Fucking oath, I am. No, you're not. Bro, you just I'm, had buying tra- I'm buying a tractor, sitting on that goddamn tractor, and slashing he's the He's gonna be like, he's gonna be like Logan Paul, and he's gonna hire his dad to look after his ranch. My, could you imagine my dad looking after my ranch? Yeah, no. Papa Armitage, I bro. Feel, oh, yeah, I was thinking about this the other day. I'd love to like live on a farm for like a couple months, just kick, kick it. Maybe be like a farmer. Look after like do some. Go fun. look after Can't. his thirty. I don't acres. really know what farmers do, but I'd be farming. Look after bro, his thirty. Acres. You got a heat stroke in an office. You're not doing that. Nah, yeah, I am. Bro. Actually, yeah, he's getting heat stroke doing your smoothies. By the way, fuck your shit. Oh, dude, yeah. you lost. Well, Shut up. <laughs> we're still going back to that. Are you okay, <laughs> you know, he, dude? Does <laughs> that really hurt you? Bro? Yeah, it did. Bro. He was upset. I was pissed, bro. <laughs> I'm still mad. You don't understand. Cause yes. I know I'd be fucking working harder than him. <laughs> On, on that shit, outside doing that shit, working double hard. What you don't take into account is that, yes, I may be pussy sometimes. However, I am more petty than you. And if it's a competition, I will I win. I guarantee I'm more petty than you. You're not. You guys are both pretty petty, though. I will, I promise you. <laughs> you you're not you're even close. You're both pretty petty, bro. <laughs> like- <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty petty. Um, I, I reckon I've got, I think I've got the, the more drive than you do, though. Like, I promise you I'm more like, petty. I, like, no. Yeah, uh, I don't know. If, if it's a competition, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I would break my back before I lose. <laughs> well, that's, the fir- that's probably the first person I've seen like wanting to be petty. Like, he's like, yeah, I would win that competition. That's I why. promise you. Know, you know what? Fuck it. it. Fuck it. You can have it. You can be the petty one. You'd want to have exactly. it. Exactly. You fold already, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> Is that who you want to work with every day? Is that what you want running your company? A hey, winner? <laughs> a fucking winner? <laughs> There's actually You can't um, argue with that, bro. If, if he came to an interview and he told me there I'm is- petty, but do you want a winner on your team? <laughs> yeah. I'd hire him. I'm not gonna be nice about it, <laughs> but I'd hire him, bro. I'd be like, that's the guy I want working for me. I'm yeah. not, well, there is a reason why we did bring him onto the podcast. Because <laughs> he's petty. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he's gonna be better than the guy next to me. Fuck that. Oh yeah. bro, I had something to bring to this podcast actually today. Wait, is that camera gonna die by the way? Yeah, is no, that fine. Because um this dude came up to me. This is probably like the fourth dude. Like older man, probably like forties, fifties. Was he hot? Um, he's a he's a very fit dude. I wouldn't say he's hot, but he's a very very fit dude. On, a, on an accurate like dick size, how big do you reckon it was? Um, I don't know. I feel like he talks a lot of shit, so maybe a small dick. Okay. Oh, okay. uh, chode. Chode. That's a good one. Maybe like built like a birthday cake. Maybe. Yeah. That's a wild thing to think about. Mm. Like, imagine if a dick was built like a birthday cake, just but round, they are. just round. They are. Just, Pan- just pancake cock just ran oh oh that's a clip sorry continue yeah for real <laughs> um, <laughs> man Zach really had to stop a podcast <laughs> but um no nah, he's like the fourth dude that's come up to me bro probably in that age bracket and he's going out of nowhere too like this is like after me just getting up I'm sorry if you're watching the podcast bro but I'm just I'm not saying your name I'm airing out your shit though but um literally fucking comes up to me bro and he's just like Nicest dude too. This is after I'm talking about his family, talk about his mm. kids, his wife, fucking everything. Comes up to me literally this week and he's just like, bro, like scratching his balls and everything, oh, right? He comes up, he's like, bro, I just rail this bitch at fucking Park Ridge. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bro, and I'm like, what? Uh, it took me a minute to process it, bro, because it was like Sunday fucking morning, bro, and I'm like, Oh, bro, I can't. And he comes up to me, like, literally scratching his balls. He's like, bro, I just railed this bitch at Park Ridge. She gave me, like, head, everything. Like, we were fucking going at it. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, Why wife, are you telling me wife this? kids, whatever. Like, no, nah, me and him are cool. Like, we're cool. Uh-huh. And um, I've just laughed. And then he keeps talking to me about it. Turns out he's on Tinder and all his, like, plenty of fish and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Anyways, found this bitch, right? She let him pick him, let him pick her up at, two in the morning before work sucked him off in the car then they fucked at a park and then he dropped her back home to her husband and kids and drove to work that morning and now he's continuously doing this with random chicks around wait does he have a girlfriend yeah he's got a wife and kids and well, he talks about it all the time he's like oh i just took the family out to the basketball like we watched the brisbane bullets like that's our thing like we do this every yeah, day that's fucked up every day rah, rah, rah. anyways um and then like that's like one of four people that have come up to me and like spilled their guts to me like one of the, when i was working at romero's bro this forklift driver that we had he would literally come up to me and he would be like i'm gonna fuck this chick tonight like 
And it's like <laughs> Go to massage parlors And all these Asian bitches And shit like that He would show yeah. them he, he literally got one of them Pregnant bro Like he was like oh, I'll take care of the kid Like my wife doesn't have to know All that shit There's bro, something right. wrong with this right And so what wrong with this Besides the cheating part Because that's obvious mm. Is how messy they are and like how they is, don't get fucking caught. No, 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 it's not even that. It's just like, it's wildly messy. No, but... Like, you're just causing mad issues for you yeah. and your family. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you were cheating, you're doing quietly, safely, blah, 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 on the side. I'm like, yo, you're a piece of shit, but it's what. Most yeah. of their justifications, though, are... Fucking someone in a park and then getting dropped home is fucking insane. Yeah, I yeah. know. Oh, it's fucked. Like, it is fucked. Don't get me wrong. Like, and I'm in no way supporting his behavior, but, like, there's no way I'm going to be like cunt your fucking wife and kids because i'm in no position to say it i don't know the dude that well you know nah, what if I, mean? I don't know you i don't give a yeah. fuck yeah literally you do whatever you want literally you're messy as hell but what i'm saying is is like the fourth dude in that age bracket that's come up to me and like happily saying they're cheating on their wife and shit like that but then most of their justifications are i provide and support my family and i do the best i can every day blah 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 i'm like that doesn't make you that entitled make it, yeah. that's a Fucking weak Li- excuse. And it's flaky it's, it's, at it's best. life's too short. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. All that shit, you know? Like the generic shit. But... You, this is good. Do you know what I uh, fucking saw someone say online? They were like, um, you don't fuck to cheat. You fuck so you can try to be the man that you think you wanted to be. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like like these older dudes that didn't really become the guy that they thought they were going to be. Yeah, yeah. And then they meet a new girl that's, you know, rose-colored glasses, thinks he's the shit. And she treats him like... He is that guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's just because everyone around him who knows him, he's just not. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that's why everyone cheats, but it's just like. It's, it's, but dudes like this, that it's are the like. It's fantasy, though. Yeah. I'm addicted yeah. to this. I'm going to a park and blah, blah, blah. Now I'm bragging about the boys at work. Like, yo. You're not cool. No, chill out, man. Yeah. Because I was You're like, I, I really wanted a girl's perspective on it, though. Like, because fucking, like, fuck being his wife, bro. Because, like, at the end of the day, like. Okay. And another reason he said was, oh, one of my mates told me. Girls are just better at hiding doing the same shit. Oh uh, boy. But Girl, like girls girls are fucking scumbags, bro. A lot of girls are scumbags. No, for real. They they're like cuz like in a dude, you don't look at the girl like they're going to cheat. You give them everything you got and then it's just like you trust them. So nah. it's like you're not looking you're not looking like they're going to cheat on you. You believe them blah 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 blah. It's more expected of the man to cheat though, like I feel like. Do you know what I mean? I I feel yeah. like that's what like people think, but I promise you Bro, bitches be I cheating, bro. I know just as many girls that have cheated. Mm. Bitches be mm. cheating. I know way more girls that have cheated than guys. Yes, I am. I'm picturing it running through my head. And I'm just looking at her and I'm like, yo, it's whatever. But then how do you go back to your fucking partner, bro? Like, I'm confused I'm as so to how, guilty, how do you go back to your partner I think it's and cal- kids and sleep in the same bed, do the family shit, and then you're off I later on in the night. people are like uh, compartmentalizing, right? So mm. that's this thing. And my family is this other thing. They're separate entities, they're separate worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you become like a different person. Do you just it. have to train yourself to do that shit though? Or do you think it's something that people are born with? Like, No, no, no. I think you learn it. I think I you think, learn it. Yeah. I, I, just, I don't like this idea. I, like as fucking lame as cheating is, like I don't like this idea that like once you're that person, you're always that person. Mm, like, no. I know dudes that, you know, have never cheated, blah, 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 get to the, what's later years in their life and then they cheat. They yeah, up. yeah, yeah. I know dudes that have been cheating their whole 20s they find a girl now they settle down yeah i've seen the same thing with girls like this idea that you're kind of stuck as this person and i know like a lot of people label that because they have trust issues at this point but you know if a dude says he's not cheating and he's changed you know maybe he has you don't have to take that risk but just saying like every dude that's cheated is always going to be that or yeah. every girl that's cheated is always going to be that now nah, people people can change but, but then do you separate like love and sex can you do that I think I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And that's and what I think, think the difference think, between guys yeah. and girls are. And do you think that's what... Yeah, exactly. So, like, do you think, like, more men feel like later on in their lives when they've been with their partner for that long and shit like that, do you think that, like... They, they can just separate look, it. Well, yeah, they can separate it because they, they're genuinely with that partner and that's yeah. their life partner and they shared everything with them. But sex shit. isn't, like, a thing. And sex that. is not... But that's why you have an open... That's why you have to discuss the open relationship. And that's why it's so natural nowadays to do but it. But then... But then do you think like... I don't even... I used to think... But do you think most really girls... Yeah, but do you no, think I mean, most no, girls would say yes to that now though? Actually... Honestly... Uh, more would I reckon. More now than ever before. Yeah. yeah. It was like Sugar Sean and stuff like that. He's yeah. in an open relationship with his girl. That's and, true. But do you and, think and, that's and because of circumstance more, though? No, but it's make... No, because he they've been married for 
before he was in the USA. Before yeah. he was oh, okay, yeah. 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 So it's been a, it's been a thing. It's a thing like if you want to be in a normal relationship and you know that you're gonna cheat, you're gonna be honest since day one. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that's yeah. what he did. Facts. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, as I'm getting older, being poly makes more logical sense. But I also know as I'm getting older, I don't think I have it in me to go through with it. What's poly? Polyamorous Where is uh, multiple, multiple girlfriends. Multiple so most people are monogamous, but there's only one. Yeah. Poly is uh, multiple. I but like too much of a headache, bro. Fucking one girl's hard enough. Oh, bro. And that's the thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> you you got to say that. Your girlfriend watches this. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I like logically, it makes sense that I would be attracted and she would be attracted to different people. And later in life, we'd kind of go down that road. But I just know... That if I'm picturing some dude sweating on my girl, just fucking yeah. railing her on a Friday afternoon, <laughs> and then I have to get home and fucking make her pasta, I'd be fucking... But then, are you railing thing. bitches on the side too, though? And that's the thing, right? Yeah. And so is she thinking the same thing? Exactly. But it's that's a, when your relationship fucks out. Well, that's that's when you're not... That's when... You, cause you had, I think you had the mindset of not being, not being able to really, do it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like people don't have that switch. People yeah. are like... Mm. But also, oh, okay, dudes, cool. are, dudes are dumb. Like they think, like, oh, I'm gonna be like open relationship because I want to blah blah blah. I want to be fucking around. I'm like, mm. yeah, sweet. But she's you, gonna get so much more ass than you are. But you gotta know your girl gonna get fucked. Yeah. Okay? yeah. If, you, if you are cool yeah. with that, and you guys are cool with like you being like kind of a little more sexually open, and it's yeah. more like blah blah, more power to you. But as I'm getting older, I'm like, I nah, ain't got it in me. I, bro. I, I, Do you I'm think threesomes that. are the answer to that problem? Though? Yes. Just not with another guy. Oh, you know why I think no. I think guys don't understand how much work a threesome is. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. And I think people think... <laughs> <laughs> Aaron! <laughs> just shut the fuck up! How can I, bro? And you say... Uh, just shut up and let me talk. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself in fucking trouble, bro. How? Um, how? How? Just, just shut up. Okay. okay so, I'll <laughs> shut, yeah, I'll shut, shut up. up. I'll shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Because dudes think that like, yo... The hard part about finding having a threesome is finding a girl that wants to have a threesome. Yeah. But, you know, as you get older, you realize, mad girls want to have fucking threesomes. <laughs> yeah. Every half, yeah, every, pretty much half the girls I've dated have wanted to have a threesome with another girl. But the hard part is finding that girl. Do you pick the girl? Does she pick that girl? No, she, it's have to, all in her court. No, no. But then you have to fuck the girl. Good. How are you guys fucking her? Uh, how much time are you spending Look, on her? Look, bro. Is that too much time on her? No, she then afterwards that. you have to deal with like, you know, is she self-conscious about this? Yeah, yeah. She says she's cool with it, but she might not react like that at the time. Mm. I promise you it's fucking harder to have a threesome. It is. it is. It is when you're in a relationship. 100%. But yeah. like, if you're like just fucking around with your piece and then she's, oh, I'm attracted to girls, you can fuck her, whatever. Yeah. I, went to, I went to sex ball, sex bo, and um, they were talking about having threesomes. Like in a like, relationship, two people in a relationship go have a threesome with someone. Yeah. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> and it's, the main thing was um, the girl makes the move. Like if you're going for another girl and your partner is sexually attracted to that girl, then she takes all the first steps. Like she goes and approaches her. She yeah. kisses her. She does yeah. whatever, like the whole thing. And then you sort of like, when they're ready for you to come in, you, yeah. you do that thing. You know what you're I mean? Like, oh, okay, I'm here, let's yeah. Go. yeah, yeah, exactly. And you just make sure that at no point in that whole experience that your partner's felt left out. Yeah. Uh, I think it's key afterwards the guy just can't talk to the other girl as well like neither other people can talk no to one the cuddles girl. bro but no, you only cuddle no. your missus and that's not, it. Cuddle, not cuddling <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah. I mean, like there's no communication no afterwards. no and there shouldn't be like the guy should basically bust the nut and, and then it. just walk out of the room but that's not and then yeah. that's it done but never, I don't think that's realistic though again. like I agree you know some people during sex they have more of an emotional connection right like you have more of this moment mm. and it's just whether or not I think it comes down to like aftercare like you're saying like lotion yeah <laughs> no but it's me like talking to a girl yeah. making sure she's okay yeah, 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 are yeah, you yeah. down did you have fun like really like kind of talking but it's through. also it comes down to like the both of you having that trust in each other where there is nothing but sex with that other person yeah, yeah. and like There's you, no you and her are the yeah. only two people that have that sort yeah. of relationship and that sort of connection yeah. you know and who's got that wild relationship Fucking Adam Twenty Two and Lena. Yeah, Park. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah! But she's a she was a porn but star she's before. Porn no, star, she wasn't. She was she, a, before. No. Nah. So they met, and then she was doing I think um, like Instagram stories, but that's about it. Like wasn't like. Oh, that. she wasn't doing OnlyFans. No, no, no. She was only it was before OnlyFans, and then she was never done porn or anything like that. Either did he, and then he kind of like well, she was always into like that yeah. kind of stuff. And he like kind of was like, yeah, go do it, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she started the OnlyFans, and they yeah. started shooting porn together. But she, 
she's never shot porn with another guy besides Adam. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's a very they, different mindset. They though. have Plug Talk, which is a podcast yeah, where they interview they, the porn star and, and, then, they and they then fuck them on camera yeah. afterwards. Yeah. 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 We should do that. We've only had <laughs> guys. <laughs> we've only had guys. We've only had guys. We've only had guys. Had guys. <laughs> Apart from Borthy. <laughs> and <laughs> that's yeah, not yeah, a thing. Nah, fair. So, but, um, okay. I think, it take, I think uh, porn stars aren't like a realistic expectation for your no. your relationship. Um, but all I know is, yeah, I've I've 100% turned down threesomes because I just think they're more effort than what you're getting. Only if you're in a relationship, bro. Yeah, yeah no, I've been in relationships and they've wanted to do yeah, it. And yeah, I'd yeah. be like, this is not worth too, what I know what I have to do with after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, exactly. I'm cool with it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I know for a fact you're not. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the weird part, bro. Like, it's like mostly, the, most of the time, the dude's always down for whatever. Because they easily separate emotional from physical yeah. and all that shit. But like when the girl's overly keen and pushing it because the man wants to, but she's not emotionally ready for it, mm. that's when there's the fucking problem. Like yeah. that is fucked. Like, yeah. No, I know. I, I know a lot of dudes are, are pushing for it, and I, I, they just don't think it through, bro. They do do so much damage to like the girl and their relationship, all just to get that fucking nut off. And it's never going to be the same though. Do you know what I mean? It's never going to be the same between you yeah. two. If she's not mentally ready, and it, or if you're not mentally ready, yeah. it's never going to be the same. And like, that's the thing, how does she you look at you? don't know that until you cross that bridge. Well, she, 100%. Because she also doesn't know, like, you, she's going to be seeing you have sex with another girl in front yeah. of her. And, like, and unless the whole that's her, thing of, like, opposite for us, like... Yeah. Yeah. Unless yeah. that's her kink, and that's, like, gets her off, like, watching me have sex huh. with another person is her thing, then more power to you. Yeah. Let's do, go but for But that's it. so rare to come by. That's right? very different to being bi. Yeah. That's way different. Definitely. Yeah. That's just a kink. Yeah, that's bi just a kink. Bi is not a kink. Yeah. Bi is yeah. different. No. I don't know what is it, it is, but... Is it, hey, if, is it, is is it a kink? No. It's not a kink, bro. <laughs> no, I mean, like, well, like your sexual preference, isn't that like a No, kink? like being like hetero isn't like a kink. It's just... I mean, it's, it's what you... It, what, what, is, what is a kink? To, what is a kink? A kink is like something you like that turns you on that's going to get you off. A kink is a male, more, and fe- male and female turn you a, on and off. Males turn you on, females. Yeah, turn you but on. a kink is more like specific, like as in um, actions. Like you can only or you need this to get aroused. I guess mm, right. No, not only. No, a kink is something like your kink is. Hey like, Siri, this turns me on more. Yeah. What is a kink? But I know like there's like an actual like kink is like you know do some dudes can't get hard unless they see like feet. Yeah, you I know, know well, I mean? that, that's a kink. But like you, you can have a feet kink and stuff like that. But I've, I don't know. I I would think that. <laughs> you have an iPhone 5 it doesn't have theory In human sexuality kinkiness yeah. is the use of non-conventional sexual practices concepts uh, non- or fantasies non-conventional so I guess yeah it's not then yeah because it's saying that's not normal yeah and I guess like everything all that's all that, everything is normal you can everything do what you is want so <laughs> you can do be what, <laughs> be what you are <laughs> I was um when I was younger I used to think I was like yo I'm um <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm pretty kinky, I think. I was like, I think I'm down for like whatever, blah, blah. You're not really though, when you get to it. When I get older, and then I realize how much stuff is out there and how much I would fucking hate it. Are you punching a bitch? No! That's what I mean! And I've been asked to! Yeah, no! How fucking wild is that when that happens? Oh, bro, bro. I'm like, like how are you gonna too? like it? Like, I'm gonna hurt you. Bro, oh, I'm gonna right. fuck you up. <laughs> wait, wait, did it run to your mind a little bit? You're like, yes. I thought about it and uh, I was like, there's no, like, she was like, hit me. I'm like, bro, I'm down for whatever. Yeah, and then she said, no, hit me. And I'm like, ooh. Uh, ooh. No. Ooh. Just the open palm, though? Yeah, uh, and yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, but, oh, word. yeah, 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 uh, no, do you know what I do? Like, get amongst it. I, yeah. It's not even like that. Like the whole action is fucked up, but then there's like bruising afterwards, and mm. I'm like, I have to explain to these people. But I've seen like kinks where like dudes like pissing themselves in public. That's why. And like they want people to see them. Like they want to be embarrassed. I don't understand the humiliation kink. Yeah, yeah, that's what is one of it. And I it's do like, not understand. It that. just sounds shit. Yeah, like, it just sounds like a really bad. Well, why would I want a bitch to roast me? Yeah, nah. I th- I think a lot of it comes I'm like from like I'm already past insecure tra- enough. But you yeah. see, like a lot of it comes from like past trauma as well, though. Yeah, okay. But I think fair. that's why, like, you, like the mummy and daddy issues yeah. come from past traumas. Mm. It's the same shit. But and then there's like some of that. Yeah, some of it comes from like past trauma. Some people would say it's just wired that way. Like, dude, I can't get turned on unless I see like a fucking spider jack off a <laughs> bee. Like, <laughs> as I'm getting older, I'm like, I'm actually not kinky at all. I'm actually pretty fucking vanilla. Um, yeah, bro, that's what I. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. People be extreme out there bro that's fucking yeah nah, shit it's supposed to be very actually fucking scary bro yeah. the, I oh fuck me man I used to work with this guy and he was just like a normal ass guy 
and he actually looked a bit like Jeffrey Dahm, so it wasn't that normal. But like he was like a <laughs> he was a tradie, and he was like an older guy. But um, he would just like come in some days, and he was pretty quiet, like just one of the boys, whatever. And then he'd come in and just tell us about his stories on the weekend. And they'd be like, oh, what did you go to on the weekend? And just casually back, oh, yeah, I went to this place and they put me in a vacuum, vacuum sealed bag. What? My whole face was vacuum sealed, only my cock was yeah, out. Yeah, fixation. And, like, and I'm like, what? And he's like, so just casually saying that shit. Like, every week we'll do shit. Like, oh, yeah, they tied me up to like a whip and whipped me and blah, blah. Do you know how many people die from that? They put, they, he did one time, they did the whole like hook in the back. Like, oh, in the back and hung him. How? From his Whoa. back. What the fuck? Fuck, like bro. that kind of, and that's all in Brisbane, by the way. All this fucking shit that's done in Brisbane. Like, it's no, there's place. a lot of shit that happens behind closed doors. Fucking bro. wild. It's fucking but crazy. the most fucked thing that I saw was he came into work one day and he had like a pat, like something on his leg. And my god, I got a new tattoo on his leg. Nah, bro, they carved an anarchy symbol out of in his leg, like like couple mil thick, big circle anarchy symbol carved the skin out of his leg. Oh. That's a cult, bro. Bro, but people That's die from that like pretty regularly. Yeah, like they fix the time. Yeah. There's a bunch of like celebrities I, I that died from it. Yeah. They got caught like in like they were in a closet. Um, hanging like, hanging themselves kind of thing. They what? were like, by accident. They were training themselves jerking off to know, watching someone I'm, else fuck. I'm trying yeah. to figure out why are you jerking yourself off while you're fucking it's choking. A, it's a thing about like that's like girls like getting choked and stuff like that. It's like a but you can control that. They're not hanging themselves in the yeah, fucking no, that's, closet. Yeah, but when you're choking a girl, it's but it's a, I think it's that excitement of like, of it's them like more, the I'm, I'm not going to pass out because you can't just choke yourself and get yourself to pass out. So yeah, I think it's that yeah, excitement yeah. thing. And when you're choking a girl, you're not really like choking her, right? No. You're really just holding the side. It's yeah. more about that pressure. Yeah. Whereas like these dudes are like, I can't breathe. You guys aren't applying pressure? Or? No, no, you pressure. Not down to, here, to, you know? Like not to, to the, the front. sides, not oh, to the front. Yeah, it's yeah, to yeah, the side. Fair, 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 fair. Why am I telling you that I had to, whatever. <laughs> Sex ed class, Aaron. Definitely not. <laughs> I'm just wondering if everyone's applying pressure, bro. Like, no, no, yeah, 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 but just uh, uh, never mind. Don't worry about it. But um, yeah, some fucking wild shit that happens. Yeah, no, it's fucked. Yeah, so all I know is I'm fucking vanilla, and um, it is what it is. No, nah, for real, it is. All right, I'm all right. glad I brought that to this t- table because um, this is the last one. Is this table coming with us to the new studio? Why not, bro? It depends if it fits. I think we need a circle table, didn't we? Yeah, I like, I like something a little more. I you obviously need more fucking leg room. Now, what do you mean, bro? <laughs> You've cut up your shins. I can see it. <laughs> I know. Fucking man. Um, well, should um, we should finish this by? Um, Did you guys see that video I tagged you? No. On Instagram? <laughs> no. <laughs> can you look it up? I said the show. Is it something to do with that show? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was the one you sent me? Yeah. Sure. Yes, yeah, so it was fun. I just said that. So yeah, it's the one I sent you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> by the way, we're, we're almost at, we're almost at four hundred Instagram followers. So if you guys could uh. Follow us on Instagram. That'd be great. We're, if we get uh, to 400 by the time that we upload our new podcast, um, we will put one um, we'll wax. wax strip on each of our legs. That's crazy that so I was going to say wax and you said wax. Yeah. I was going to say your, wax go, all your leg. No, I was going to say your leg. And I was going to say all your leg. But we'll put a wax strip on each of our legs if we get 400 subscribers. You guys want to see the sickest video ever? February. Not February. March. April. April. Okay, look at this. <laughs> I'm I'm detoxing right now. Can you not? <laughs> Wait, oh good God. Uh, oh. This has been one too many. Thank you guys very much. Ladies. We're looking forward to, for you guys to see the new studio. We haven't even seen it yet, so catch you soon. Subscribe. Peace. Peace.